Heavyweight Showdown. Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy in the way that they need to. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Dutch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Big head kick lands. Single collar tie now. Ooh, what a punch. That was a thudding leg. Both kick. guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> get right here. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Call it to go and end the fight. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Pretty good right hand. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Good, solid strike on the ground. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in which. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the front. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, big punch land. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick. Wow, oh, he's 
to the body. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, got him! He got him! Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground? How about those five minutes? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. to the body. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. Strong hook lands. shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the closed guard now. How good is that right hand? I'm trying to recover from the guard there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets up again here, but hurting. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they set. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 48 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, 
that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.